Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, we are doing another amazing meal prep for us moms that, you know, work out, eat right, and keep this thing squad, okay? <laughs> Let's get cooking. Okay guys, this low carb keto meal prep will produce 10 meals with three different proteins and three different vegetables along with some salad, okay? Now, be forewarned that this meal prep does um, include two red potatoes. However, those red potatoes are for my son who is not a low carb or keto, okay? So please feel free to replace the potato ingredient with any vegetable of your choice, okay? Maybe some broccoli or some squash and zucchini or just any vegetable of your preference. Have a vegetable in your life okay i would like this vegetable and i wonder how she would cook it feel free to just comment down below and ask me that question and i will definitely respond all of the ingredients will be listed in the description down below along with a link to a recipe printout Now these are some fresh green beans that I had left over and I froze them. So I just took them out of the freezer and ran them under some cool water to knock the ice off. So I am certain that you can do this with frozen green beans from the store. Now here is the sheet pan with all of the vegetables assembled on it. And now I'm just going to top the green beans with some chopped pecans before sliding this sheet pan in the oven. This is now going in the oven on 425 for 20 minutes. Now, during the 20 minutes that the veggie sheet pan is cooking, I'm going ahead and chopping all of the vegetables needed to prepare the salads, and I'm going to go ahead and assemble all of the salads during that 20 minutes. Now, I always like to add some kind of nuts or seeds to my salad because it ups the protein for muscle growth and toning and also adds healthy fat so that I can stay thick delicious. to be topped with the protein of choice, which is probably going to be a salmon steak and a um, chicken breast. I'm not for sure if 
I showed you guys or not, but these are the tomatoes that I chopped and used. Also, this is the spring mix that I used that was um, big enough for all four salads with a little bit left over for some omelets this week. This is the salmon that I'll be using that is enough for five salmon steaks. I got it from Walmart. Um, I used to get it from Aldi um, when I lived in Tennessee, but I have not visited Aldi since I've been here in Texas. Um, and actually, I had started getting my salmon from Kroger's, um, which I used to love to do. However, um, the where I live now, there is no Kroger, <laughs> sadly to say. But if there's a Kroger near you, I am telling you, uh, check them out. I used to love going to their seafood counter and picking out um, my salmon steaks. They already came cut and I could also get them seasoned right there at the seafood counter um, in Kroger. So I could skip um, this whole step here of having to <laughs> season my own salmon. So if you do have a Kroger's, like I said, that's near you, go ahead and visit them because you can go ahead and pick your own salmon steaks and get them to season them so that that is a step that you can skip in your meal prep. What you actually see me doing here is I went in first and stuffed in some salted butter. Then I went in and stuffed in some fresh sliced garlic. to you but what I'm going to do is season these salmon steaks with two different types of seasoning so that our salmon steaks don't taste the same when we have them at different times during the week just to keep our taste buds excited. We are popping this in the oven on 425 and letting it cook for 20 minutes. Okay, so now we are moving on to our second protein of this meal prep, which are mini meatloafs. And these are the pans that I'm going to be using for our mini meatloafs.
this little spatula and mix this stuff all night. But honey, there is nothing better than mixing up this mixture with my own natural God-given mixers. So I'm just going to get in there, honey. Look, let me quit playing with y'all and get on with this meal. Okay, so I attempted to make a fourth mini loaf. However, this did not seem to be enough to make a full fourth mini loaf. So I just took it and divided it amongst the other three. going in the oven on 350 for 45 minutes this is the almond flour that you guys saw me adding to the meatloaf mixture um, I believe I got it from Walmart um, this is about four pounds yeah guys this is our third and final protein that we will be making for our meal prep um these are chicken breasts and i really think that they each weigh about one pound each um yeah i forgot to spray the aluminum foil with non-stick spray <laughs> i hate when i do that so yeah um i had to take it off and then spray it and put it back moving on So apparently I lost the footage of me seasoning the chicken breast, but I will put what I seasoned it with down in the description box, so please check there. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna wrap these up and then put them in the oven for 375 for 30 minutes after the salmon comes out. And in the meantime, we're gonna do the fun part, which is cleaning up. Yay! <laughs> No, but seriously, I really do try to clean between meals so that there's not a lot left at the end. The meatloafs are ready. The chicken is ready. Now it is time to plate them up, baby. Now, see what had happened was we only have one meatloaf plate left because my son ate one immediately when he came in. And of course, I ate one with him along with a piece of salad, but we're not going to tell nobody. All right, guys, this is it for this week's meal prep. Okay, I know that you guys are going to enjoy these meals just as much as me and my son do. So listen, if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and give me a thumbs up, all right? And hit that notification bell so that you know when new content is uploaded, all right? So that you can stay losing that weight, okay? Eating delicious, nutritious, 